Listen, I'm in a meeting. I'll call you as soon as I get out. Yeah. Okay. Hey, ever since, ever since Joan got that black hair, she's been doing whatever she wants. <laughs> See, if we could do that, we're only allowed to do uh, our 24 credits. I think there's only eight. Was he? Right on a butt. <laughs> he saved the day. How do you do it? <laughs> you wait outside until it's yep. exact time. <laughs> I'm in the car. <laughs> you want to see Brandon? Here you go. Yes, she did. <laughs> I was in the other room. This is all being recorded. Everything I said was a lie. <laughs> I think it's real. <laughs> is this real?
notice of this meeting has been satisfied in accordance with Chapter 231 PL of the 1975 by advertising in the Home News Tribune notifying the Sentinel Pum Publishing Company and the Star Ledger. Posting on the bulletin board and filing with the borough clerk. Have a roll call, please. Mr. Walsh? Here. Mr. Green? Here. Mr. Kaczynski? Here. Mr. Freisman? Here. Mr. Corrigan? Here. Thank you. All right, we'll get right into it. Case number 1624, Robert Dam. Mr. Chairman, for the record, I review the application and notices. Everything is in order. We do have jurisdiction to hear this matter. I have a motion to deem this application so complete. Moved. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. All right. Good evening, Mr. Chairman. Hey, could you speak into that mic, please? Sorry. Is it on? Is it on? Is it on now? Theoretically. Send your, if you have a lot of money, we'll send it to you. We're just going to get the old mic. Thank you. As I indicated, uh, my name is George Presser. I do represent the applicant and the owner of property, the subject property located at 392 Washington Road, also, we, also commonly known as uh, block number 92, blocks number 153 and 154. Uh, this particular piece of property is in what is commonly called the R7 residential zone, and our application variance to construct a uh, child child care uh, we also rent out part of our the building on that street to a child care facility and we are uh, making an application to utilize part of the uh, property for a uh, playground for the children uh, without further uh, ado I would introduce mr. Downey and ask that he be sworn to testify okay sure. Do you solemnly swear or affirm the testimony you're about to give is the truth, nothing but the truth? I do. So do sworn. Just spell your first name. It's and uh, name. Bob Downey, D O W N E Y. That's 302 Journey Mill Road, Serval. <clears throat> okay. So, do we, we, do we need to mark this? Mark that. That could be. Uh, is it one? A one. A one. And also put. Uh, Today's date on it, which is what the 26th, 26th of October 2016. Okay, so uh, this uh, daycare has been brought in front of the board before. The uh, actual daycare is in a B1 zone. Uh, we needed to have a playground for it. It was previously approved for a playground over on Mr. Cook's property on the other side of the play, uh, parking lot here, which is also an R7 zone. I had recently purchased the corner property next door, which is also an R7 zone. Um, everything in this block is B1 with the exception of this corner lot, this corner lot, and this back lot, which is R7. What I'm proposing to do, which makes more sense, because currently 
what we need to do in order to get the children to the uh, daycare, we have to go down these steps down the side. We have to cone off the parking lot. Uh, Mr. Cookta has uh, tenants up here, I think a real estate company and a couple other things. So uh, it's a little bit of a safety issue that we have the uh, cones there. It works, but it's more convenient if we actually cross over its eight foot to the fence and we would be into the new proposed playground. What I'm looking to do is take down the existing garage. We currently had to have an environmental engineer go out there, take samples, and check the safety of everything. Uh, I'm gonna put a set of stairs going, because there's a retaining wall, so it would go into that playground. We're gonna utilize the fencing from the other playground to just cut this off. So what I'm proposing now, we're about 10 feet off of Ridge Road currently. We're proposing to go 15 foot. Um, and we're also proposing to put a shed over on the side that would actually be on this property. And that would house like balls and you know, children's uh, you know, toys and that. And uh, the access would only be through this property, which is 388 Washington. Um, parking currently, for the two-family house, it's an existing non-conforming use, uh, is on the street. Uh, the person I bought the property from uh, utilized the garage for his own personal use and is actually still currently using it. Um, so the, that off-street parking was never really utilized. Uh, there's three cars there now. We got 157 feet of parking. That will, we were also gonna render the uh, curb cut useless so that'll open up some more parking as well. But uh, it's not really hurting any other parking because it's the only house on that corner. Right. And uh, that's really it, if you have any questions. Anybody have any questions for them? The uh, playground has to be a certain size and you have enough area? Well, yeah, we do. Uh, it matches it in square footage. And the shed, that's not gonna be the shed is or just, just outside for storage? The shed is just for storage, like, you know, she has, like, balls and, you know, yeah, for all around, stuff. you know, little kid stuff, so. Okay. Anybody else have any questions for them? I have a motion to open it. Oh, are you done? I'm sorry. Yeah, you're done? Can John go over the variances? Yeah, John, you want to go sure, over Sure, Mr. Chairman. Uh, the situation with this, as Bob explained, uh, is a, uh, the R7 zone does not permit uh, two-family houses, and there's a, a two-family structure on this property. So therefore, it's an existing non-conforming use. Right. He wants to use a component of the child care, which is a requirement of a daycare, of the daycare is uh, a recreation or a playground area. So that component uh, is not allowed in, that, uh, in the R7 zone, and any expansion of the non-conforming use uh, sets up a, a D2 expansion of a non-conforming use uh, use variance. So he needs uh, and he needs that uh, the uh, uh, in the B1 zone uh, by by legislature, uh, I believe in 1990, uh, child care centers were uh, permitted by right in all non-residential zones in all municipalities in New Jersey. That's why. It's in our permitted yeah. uses under our ordinance. Uh, as opposed to that, family uh, care homes can be permitted for child care up to five children in any residential zone in any town in any municipality in New Jersey. Uh, and the difference is it's just a more intense use. So what they're doing in the B1 zone, they couldn't do on the, uh, in the uh, R7 zone. Okay. They have approximately, I guess, I'm guessing my office is there, I'd say 15 to 20 kids a day in that area. Uh, so that creates the use variance. Uh, there was parking, but as I know, uh, the garage was not used for parking or the, or the apron uh, or driveway was not used. Uh, but uh, four cars were necessary, but all the cars always parked since I've gone there and I park in the back. And Around the back you know, go in front. The, uh, the curb parking there has always been utilized for parking. Okay. So that, those are the, uh, uh, Use variances. the C variances, both variances are for parking. 
technically because there is no on-site parking, uh, but it hasn't been used as, as such, and the use variance itself. Okay. Okay, Tom? Hmm? Yeah, okay, and before... Oh, front yard what, fence? So the, the, uh, the fence and the yeah. playground are going to leave. Is that going to turn back to a parking lot, or what's going to happen? No, this, this area here is a grass area, so that's going to be returned to the grass area. Uh, we're, there's currently the fence that Mr. Kukta put up along Hauserman and Ridge, will stay so we added this part of the fence will be removed and restored to the existing condition and we are going to install that fence up here so you're not adding any we're going to use asphalt? no there, no no asphalt we're, we're actually taking away asphalt we're taking away the uh driveway and we're taking away the garage and like i said it's better for the children like now it's a big chain gang with all the teachers and that and it's ordeal. So now they're literally like here is the door to the uh, daycare. They're going to walk, I think I measured like uh, 12 feet and it'll take you right into it. So okay. it'll be safer, safer for the children to get in there. Okay. Mr. Chairman, also there is one additional variance uh, for fencing okay. on that lot since that side of the property is a, a corner. corner lot. It has two front yards, the front yard on Washington right. and the front yard on Ridge. So there's a fence uh, that, as Mr. Downey said, he's going to uh, install, and that, I believe, is about five feet, which is uh, beyond what is required in the front yeah, yard. Yeah, we actually pulled it in closer than what the existing playground is. Okay. So we added a little more, you know, for site. Instead of 10? Yeah, there's an exist. yes. Instead of 10 feet, right? No, it, it's 10 foot on the playground now. We're making it 15. And that's off that's the curve, right? Yeah. Okay. Anybody else got any questions? Or any landscaping between the... Um, yeah, the we're, we're going to put something. I don't know. I was going to... Uh, I don't know if we have a mandatory thing. Right now, there's arborvitaes here. I could install arborvitaes or I could install something lower. There is no need as far as uh, I believe the state requiring, you know, uh, landscaping, but we do have a couple uh, bushes back there now that's facing towards the parking lot. Um, we're, we're open to <coughs> suggestions on that or if there is any special, I mean, it's, I don't have any we're gonna turn the, the, that, in. everything's gonna be a grass area, so. You just want it neat. Yeah, it'll be grass. Well, John, do we need anything for this term? Uh, in my report, uh, Mr. Chairman, I, I mentioned uh, recommending that we put maybe uh, eight or nine uh, shrubs on that northern fence outside the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the uh, playground towards the you house. You okay with that, Mr. Yeah, that, John? that's fine. I mean, is that for buffering between the. the yeah, zones? and just for, yeah. Well, it would be separation. buffering between the zones. Right. That, that would be between this lot. I think we're talking about the. Uh, uh, and it's a play, and again, it's he's a He's okay with that. We'll put that down as part of it if he gets okay. All right. Any other questions, guys? Before you open up, I speak to Ms. Presser a second. Ms. Yeah. Presser? Ms. Presser, could you and your client go over the positive and negative criteria for the record on this? Well, I think we've definitely. Just summarize I, it so the record's clear. Well, the positive is, is that the Mic microphone. The positive issue is that there is a, a safety component here whereby the children are not going to have to go crossing over from uh, uh, through a parking lot. Uh, now, uh, assuming this is going to be approved by the board, it's uh, merely steps and then the children will be in an enclosed area for the playground. Uh, as far as negative criteria, I mean, I, 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 though I'm not a planner, I certainly don't see anything negative about this. It's everything that Mr. Downey has said has a positive connotation here. All right. You okay with that? Okay. I have a motion to open it to the public. So moved. Second. Okay. Anybody like to speak on this application? Come on up, Barbara. Mrs. Kilcommons. Oh, you first? Okay. Right. Timothy Kukta, K U C H T A, 17 Charlotte Street, Fairville. Well, I would like to bring it to the board's attention. The applicant filed an application back in 
March of 2014. I will give you this application. You can reach John, it. could you take that, please? Because he falsified facts and misled you with information. Mark that as. Let me he swear. Got Excuse this. it. Just hold one second. Excuse it. Let me swear him in. Okay. So you got to get, get sworn in. You have to get sworn in. Do you solemnly swear or affirm the testimony you're about to give is the truth and nothing but the truth? Yes. Thank true. you. Who are you going to get that, Mark? A2. A2. You want to see this? Yeah. Go ahead, sir. Okay. Like I was saying, you filed that application back in March of 2014. This informed you, falsified facts there, and you people gave him. You're wasting all our time here because you gave him something under false pretenses. That playground should have never been on my property. Well, now he's coming in front of his board and he's pleading this for the safety of the kids. <laughs> this should have been never granted in the first place. Read that application. It's all a bunch of lies. And how did all this happen? What, nobody in the borough looks at this? Every piece of property in this was town approved. has a lot and block it, number. There's nothing on there. No lot and block number, nothing. So what is this? Well, I don't know where that came from. It came from the all. borough. <laughs> and uh, I can't make a judgment on that. We can't make a judgment on that. Well, then I think it'd be in the board's best interest. Is it certified? That is it you, certified? That you delay certified this meeting? Excuse me? I said I think it would be in the board's best interest that you delay this meeting. And Mr. The regular attorney gets back here, review the, the application, review the tapes, all the testimony that was given, because whatever Mr. Downey spoke at that meeting is all a bunch of lies. Can you prove you know, that to us? Hold it, wait a second. There. I'm not going into that. We have no evidence here, no proof. I'm not addressing that here, okay? That's something else. I don't know lying. I don't have a, a certified deed. I don't have anything. That's 2014, so, Mr. Chairman. Yeah. It's not even, it's two years ago, almost going into the third year. You know, the truth is the truth. I got, a, I got a, uh, an application in front of me, and that's what we're going to address. If you want to speak on this application, speak on this application. I am speaking on this application. No, you're speaking on a 2014 application. Well, that was granted in September. Sir, speak on this application. That's what I'm asking you. I can't, I don't have the stuff here for that. Well, I'm telling you, review it. You got to oh. review your tapes, review all the testimony. Excuse me. I don't think I'm looking at this application. It's not a certified application. We don't know where it's from. But this is an application from uh, 2014 for the board's uh, information. If this application, if there was a problem with the application, it was approved, anyone from the public uh, would have had a right to bring an action in the court back in 2014. Uh, the time would have now passed. And um, well, that you, came you, from could your borough. you could definitely. Uh, from your capital law. Yeah. Thank you. Well, this is what our attorney said right here. You yeah. want to speak on this application? Well, let me take a look at the feds. That's not going to be acceptable. Well, you're not on the zoning board. Well, I'm sorry, but that fence happens to be on my property, and I own another foot past that fence. So how is he allowed to tie into my fence? I'll check that out. We'll, we'll check. Good. Ron. Yeah. My understanding of this application, he's going to move that from there to another part. He's moving it from here to here. Okay? Where this green line here, that's my thing. And okay. I own another foot of property past that. And looking at this, he's tying into my thing. That's okay. Wait a second. I'll make a proposal. I'll put it if it's granted that he must remove that part of fence from your property. So it won't be no, on your my property. Fence is staying there. He cannot tie into my fence. He'll have to put his fence a foot over. Is that okay with you? Yes, sir. Okay, I'll, I'll make that a condition if it's approved 
that he has to do that. Okay? All right? I, don't, I want to try. No, he, he's right. If he says he doesn't want it there. If he can prove that that's his things. That well, we're going to look at the paperwork and make sure before. But if that's the truth, I'll make sure the property lines. I can't do this That paperwork came from your office, from the bar itself. Thank you. Come on up, Mrs. Kill Cummins. Barbara Kill Cummins, 22 Schmidt Street. First of all, I think this should be postponed. This application you're listening to, it's in litigation right now. And from the previous application, is in total litigation with, I forget the court date, the 31st of October. So it just seems ironic that you would be hearing this application just a few days before the litigation of the previous application. So you're jeopardizing this board's reputation by doing something like that and just sailing it right through. Mr. Downey put a play yard on property he did not own, and that's part of the litigation. He did not own that property. But, and this planner should have known, excuse me, this planner should have known better because he lives there. And he knows the property that he bought to put the uh, daycare was not Mr. Cookta's, but his brother's. He owned that property. But he yeah. owns the other property. He turned around and put a play yard where he shouldn't have. Now he's trying to push this through so fast, it's wrong. You're losing all your credibility and your respect by sailing this right through today and not postponing it until the court case on October 31st is heard. Mrs. Kilcomish, I just answer you? Go okay. ahead. I don't know anything about this other problem. I don't know this application. I don't know anything about it. I'm only given an application that I'm looking at today. For well, today's. I think under the circumstances, let me, let, let me, you should postpone you it. I don't see, I'm not supposed to know anything about what that goes on. But that you're has, just told now. That has nothing to do with today. It has nothing to do with this application. Am I right with that? That is correct. If the, if the, so the attorney if the, saying if this. If the alleged uh, litigation is concerning a different piece of property, it has nothing to do with this application, this application can move forward. Because you're moving from one area to the other. Mr. Downey, but I think, has lost his credibility to me and to a lot of residents. He puts up a beautiful place. It's true, a nice, it, he enhances the community of Cerebral, whatever he builds or whatever he does. Doesn't your daughter work as his secretary, correct? Yes. And has he done work for you, built for you, and the rest? And I'm sure maybe someone he else. He built my house, yes. Yes. But there this is still a lot has nothing to do with this application from two years true. ago. True. I don't want to But Mr. Downey has no problems that. whenever he comes here for approval. And I'll give you one example. There was a Mr. Lopez in Morgan. Came here, tried to build a house on a piece of property, an undersized lot. Within six months later, a year, Mr. Downey comes. He had no problems putting it up. Whatever Mr. Downey wants, seems to want from this board, I, has ever, he has ever, ever been refused. No. I don't think that's Now you have a case. Bring, I don't think you No, now you up. have a case. I'm trying to show the correlation. No. You, now you have a case that's in do. litigation. You are losing your credibility by no. not postponing no, this not. and the board. No, I'm not. My job is to do this application today. This job, when you know this, I, no, I don't. that it's I in don't litigation. Want, listen, I don't know that. What proof do you have of that? I don't know that. Ask Mr. Downey. Does he have a court case I'm on not, October listen, 31st? You don't have to contact Mrs. Kilcommons. I, I respect rest my you. Case. You do a lot for this town. You really do. I, and I I'm care trying about to this do, community. And I care about this and town, too. And I care too. about the volunteers and the boards in this community. And we're trying to do the best we can. But, and, and I'm giving you information. We can't do stuff and on you what should be ifs. postponing this until the case is heard. You have a problem with this case here today, then I'll postpone it. I don't go by hearsay and other stuff like that. And that's, you're not, you're not being fair with us. And you're not being a fair to these people I'm not up being here saying, fair. No, you're not. Sometimes you're I think you're not fair to some residents. You weren't fair to Mr. Lopez by not allowing him to build a house. I don't even know anything about that case. 
and then look. And I, don't, I might not even been here. I know other people weren't here. So you're accusing people of something that they might not have been on this board or at that meeting at but that I time. But I just don't want you to lose your credibility, Mr. Walsh. I think I have good credibility. Thank you. I have something I want to say. <clears throat> Mrs. Kilcommons, I understand where you come from, and I do appreciate how you feel. Mrs. Kilcommons, I... I was livid. That's why I'm here. I haven't been here in a long time. And right. you know, I remember when Mr. Downey wanted to put a strip mall on the corner of Edward Street. He said to me, what are you doing here? This doesn't concern you. I said, excuse me? I'm a taxpayer and a resident in this town. Everything affects me. And I'm interested in it. Everyone knows that I'm interested in the betterment of this community. Right. But and right so away, that got... So and then in two family house next door. But we don't know anything about that right now. We don't know if things no, would change. No, but I'm just saying. But we don't know I'm if things would change. I'm telling you why I'm else. here. You're, you're and always this, welcome and when, here. Thank you. But when I find this out, I think it's wrong, and I think this case should be postponed. Well, I have an attorney here I that disagrees with you. I don't think it looks too you. good if someone else found out, and just a few people that I do know, maybe an investigation should be. Thank you. I welcome that. I have something. On. Mrs. Kilcommons? Yes, Mr. Green. <clears throat> I do resent the fact that you said that this board gives favorable treatment to certain people. That's not true. It's not. We're a volunteer here. I'm a volunteer here. Has we he do the best job that we can. For anything, no. We do the best job we can based on the facts that we have. And for you to come up here Mr. and say Green. that we give preferential treatment to somebody, that's out of line. It's not out of line. Yes, it it's the truth. It's the truth. My husband right. served and was a volunteer on this board. Thank I'm you. Gonna, I'm going to tell you one thing. I never, I've been on this board for years, years, and it's the first night anybody's accused me of doing that. I resent it. I don't like it. And everybody is entitled to their opinion. But as far as it, I got one case tonight. I'm looking at the one case. If I may address the board. Good. As I stated, this application's on block 92, lots 153 and 154. If there is uh, alleged litigation on a different property that has nothing to do with tonight's, lit uh, tonight's application, so I would not uh, ask that the board adjourn us for that particular reason. Thank you. Anybody else like to speak on this application? Anyone else like to speak on this application? A motion? Sure. Do whatever you want. You approve it, you approve it. But there's two things the board should know. You got a nudist living across the street, and you got a registered. That has nothing to do. A block away. That's, that's, that's that, no, it's not on me. You know something? I really resent that now. Am I a cop in this town or anything else? Don't put that on me. You have a problem, there's ways to go. You believe there's a problem, you go to police station. You don't come to the zoning board. You understand me? All right, that's enough now. That's enough. That's ridiculous. I'd like the motion to close the public portion. So moved. Seconded. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, can I have a motion on this application? I make a motion that this application be approved I as a, it was presented. I got a second. Second the motion. Can I roll call, please? Mr. Walsh? Yes. Mr. Green? Yes. Mr. Kaczynski? Yes. Mr. Kreismer? Yes. Mr. Corrigan? Yes. Okay, your motion has been approved. You'll get the resolution at the next meeting. Hey, uh, I'm sorry, uh, you guys are great volunteers on this board, and I am proud to serve with you guys and everybody else involved with this. We're not a program for somebody else's problems or court or anything else. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Okay, we have a couple resolutions. Oh, first, we need a motion to okay next year's schedule. Did everybody get that? Yes. Oh, yes. Could I have a motion to approve so next moved. year's schedule? Second. 
All in favor? Aye. Okay, we just have a couple of resolutions, right? Do you have them or? Yep. I think everyone has copies already, and I don't join. There's only. I only have one copy of each. Okay, I'll give it right back to you. Okay, application 16 17, Kevin Russell. Um, we have a motion to accept this. So moved. Second. Second. We need a roll call. Okay, for this one, it's Mr. Green. Yes. Mr. Kaczynski. Can I vote on this one? Did I vote no? Uh, That's not that one. That, yes. Can I vote yes? Mr. Kreisman. Yes. Okay. Application 16-18. We need a roll call on this. I mean, oh, excuse me one second. <laughs> I'm a little frustrated. Thank right you, now. Mr. Chairman. I move that the uh, resolution be approved as written. Okay. Second. Okay. Roll call. Mr. Walsh. Yes. Mr. Green. Yes. Mr. Kaczynski. Yes. Mr. Kreismer. Yes. Mr. Corrigan. Yes. Okay. Application 16 20. Move that the resolution be as approved as written. Second. Okay. Roll call. Mr. Walsh. Yes. Mr. Green. Yes. Mr. Kaczynski. Yes. Mr. Kreismer. Yes. Mr. Corrigan. Yes. Great. Thank you. And um, what else we want to do? The minutes. 1622, 409 Washington Road. This one I missed. Uh, that's Larry Orange, second to three. I think one of them was from the previous month. Yeah, Kevin yeah we Russell. did that. Yeah, that was the Russell from yeah. the previous okay. month. Okay. Application 16-22. Uh, this is the one I can't vote on. Okay. I need, yeah. I have, I'll make a motion to approve the uh, resolution. Second. Roll call. Mr. Walsh. Yes. Mr. Green. Yes. Mr. Kreismer? Yes. Mr. Corrigan? Yes. Okay. Oh, here, Joan. We don't do that. Really? Yeah. <laughs> you have a motion to open the meeting to the public? I'll do it right after this. So move. Anybody like the anything to speak on this. I move we close the public portion. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Could I have a motion to approve the minutes from the last meeting? So moved. Second. Okay, all in favor? Aye. I have a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. Okay, thank you. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. She? I can, uh, this is your topic. Thank you. Is he kidding me? Applications. Yes. They're impeccable. He's crazy. They're totally impeccable. I knew this That's why they get passed. Yeah, I know. You know they believe in cheating, man. And then they say we're prejudiced? What, are they kidding me? We do the best job we can yeah. here. And Bob has been man. turned down. <laughs> Bob has been turned down. Yeah, he has been at yeah. times. That's okay. We'll run into them again. Thanks if, for the good legal advice. If, if the tapes are still on, I'll be careful what you're saying. Yeah, <laughs> they're still on, yeah. I know, we can't. Yeah. They still gave it to you. They haven't submitted yet. What, what is he talking about 2014? Well, he said you can't. So was I. But he said you can't.